Hey guys, it's Tech Guru here, and today I'll just show you how to make our database for um, for a billing system on LibreOffice database. I'll put the link for the application below, so you can just get it from below, or you can go on to our website and get it from there. Um, so let me search it. So this is the database creating. So we're going to database, um, create new database. Next, um, I wouldn't re register right now, but if you want, you can. So I'll just do no, do not register the database. And after the database file has been saved, what do you want to do? Um, open do open database for editing. name it i'll name it um billing demon demon because that's what i'll be calling my software so documents save so there we have our um billing uh, demon base and now you want to create a new table in design view we'll come to wizard later so here it is it's open and now you want to write field name you want to put as um, item code and this should not be text watcher it should be integrator and not small you want this and make this your primary code primary key there we go and now you just want to add um, description, maybe, item. Um, and maybe item type. Uh, Sorry about food. Okay, so you want to do something like that. Um, price maybe. Text watcher. Oh, God. Uh, price must be number, numeric. And uh, yes, it's required. Length 100, decimal place is 0. Um, and default value, just put uh, $10 maybe. Like that. Yes, 10. Enter. So you want to do something like this. I'll just keep it simple and uh, save it as shop data base. Like that. Okay. I can close this. And there we have it here. And as you can see, it's blank. Item code, item and price. So item code, you're supposed to leave it because it's an auto field, but we didn't fill it. So what we need to do is go back, right click, edit. And this integer in auto value, click on yes and save. And now what it will do is when you open it, it will say auto field. So just enter the item name. Um, Uh, table now I'll just put random because I don't actually know the price and there item code 0 table and price is $100 so you want to do that and just fill it in to how many ever you want and I'll be right back when I finish doing that 
So guys, I'm back and I have one of the most ridiculous lists in the world right now with me, which is here. I couldn't add lots of things, that's why there are some really random things, but this is it. So added everything in our list and now I'm simply going to close it. And uh, here, so we have our data as well in this list. So now we want to go on for the data in. For this data in, we need to go to forms, create wizard to use form. Notice that this time I'm using a wizard to create a form. Last time we used a, we used a create form in design, create table in design view for the tables. Now for forms, we're going to use, use wizard to create a form. So our selections are here. So notice that it's table. And you wanna add everything the, on this side. Next, you um I wouldn't add a sub form because I feel it's a little hard. And now just move this down. And if you do this, then it will show you the same thing as it's there. So that's why I would choose if you do one of these, these, like that. But don't don't choose this. Um, I'll just go on with this just for the heck of this next um the form is to display all data next uh, you can change your color i'll just choose dark and uh, this is what you can change i would just choose 3d look um, name of the form shop database form search maybe work with the form work with the form and finish so there we go we have zero that's stable a hundred dollars and now we can find it you maybe item code if you want to know a certain code like three there we go we got it doritos item code number three is doritos or maybe i want to search what is a table then i'll switch over to item and type in tab table there we go if there's anything else then i would get this so let's start with door and as you can see there's only one a there there's so many that start with a that's why you're getting all of them maybe you want nutella just searching not there we go nutella so somewhere like that and it's yeah so this you can use to search and now let me just show you one more cool thing if you use this software you can go to reports use wizard to create report add everything there next uh, keep it like that next sort by next back uh now just go on to this and see how you would like your item code and um, everything to be when you print yeah i like this so i'll keep it like this next back portrait no. Let's keep. next title of report shop base day shop items with code static report make it make it static no keep it dynamic actually and there we go um this is an odt file so you got to print it you can print it there are five pages to because of this um, so basically now you have all of your codes over here in in a nice fo file so you can just print that and you'll get the printed version of it and yeah that's basically first part of making a billing system on just making the database uh, so hope you continue um, your fun being with you please like subscribe or comment hey guys this is tech guru here and today i'll just tell you i would like to tell you that please subscribe like or share whatever you like 
Um, or maybe you can give me um, some. Uh, maybe even tips or something. Um, that'd be fine. So put it down in the um, comment box below. And thank you.